Do you want the white t-shirt or the black t-shirt? Easy choice. I'm sure you can decide, but what if I now provide you 24 options instead? Well, psychological studies prove that you're 10 times less likely to make a decision. That's called the choice paradox, and you might wonder, what's that to do with water tech? Well, let me explain. 80% of municipal wastewater in the world is treated using the activated sludge process, and 50% of new projects are still built using that same technique. Yet, Activated sludge was invented in 1914 and is called that way because at the time they didn't really know why it worked, they just noticed that it worked. So they thought, it's magic, let's call it activated. The thing is that we've since invented and developed countless alternative processes that are arguably almost always better than activated sludge in nearly every specific application. Yet what would you pick? An MBR, an MBBR, a MABR, a SBR, a granulated sludge, algae, a trickling filter, a ditch. And once you've chosen one of these countless treatment families, what subvariation would you pick? What type of aerator, membrane, dosing, mixing? Too many choices, so what do you do? You don't choose. Nobody's ever been fired for going with good old activated sludge, right? <laughs>